All right, y'all, so we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. And in this one, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Omi token because it was just, um, it, a question was raised and, you know, Ben actually explains what the focus is of the team, which isn't shocking. It's not even wrong in my opinion, but I think that people trying to go, go about the Omi token as if it's, Oh, this is the last time to buy. The bull market is on. I believe that's a delusional take because it has shown that it does not move with the, it's been a, we've been in a bull run. We've been in a bull run. Like I've made a lot of money this year. Like we've been in a bull run. Like, like I, the bull run is still going on, but the only token is, is hitting newer lows and people hear that and they instantly get defensive. No, it's just the reality of what's going on. So at what point do you wake up and be like, okay, this is not going to move for me. Um, let's focus elsewhere. Like, let's just hold that bag until it decides to do what it's going to do, which is going to be dependent on the team, which I keep telling people is going to be dependent on the team. But let's jump into what the team has to say about it. It's really important to us. It is part of our planning. It is part of our future. But my focus deliberately has been on VV because I think where I'm going to add the most value over the next, um, in the short term, is growing the user base and engagement and revenue of VV. That's not to say we're not focused on, on Omi. We are. But right now, you know, you, again, it's about prioritizing. Right now, I'm, I'm focusing on VV. So I can answer, you know, I can answer questions about VV and give you all the detail that I've got based on the planning that we've done and the stuff that we've launched and dropped. Um, with Omi, I can't give you specifics because we haven't decided what that is. But we are, we are looking at it. Um, we, yeah, we are still working on, um, on on listings, for example. We've got, you know, we've obviously got a few already. We, we are looking at more. But when it comes to, you know, questions about specific functionality right now, I'm not going to make stuff up and I haven't got an answer for you because I'm focused right now on, you know, making VV as strong as it could possibly be. Right. It's really important to us. It is part of our... So VV is the focus. They they don't know what they're doing with the OMI token yet. They they still have no clue. That That's essentially... That's essentially what we've been hearing. Now, um, people always take what I say out of context or take it the wrong way. Like I'm just downing the project. Like I'm just downing them at every turn. No, I'm being honest. And that's the problem. Everyone wants to sit here and act like the the everything is sunshine and rainbows, but it's not. And you can, it's okay to be realistic. It's okay to be honest. So many people don't want to just do that when it comes down to this project. And it's weird. Because the truth is what will allow them to make changes and make the changes that's beneficial for everyone. But everyone wants to pretend like everything is perfect, things are going smoothly. It, it, it's the way that things are being handled has been making you all happy, and that's why it's been so slow when it comes down to doing things about the stuff that you have real issue with. It, it's it's weird this mindset that oh, if we just hope for the best and keep the we're all going to make it attitude, everything will work out just fine. Like. That, that's just a delusional mindset in this space. And this is what's left the token looking like a slow rug for the longest amount of time. I know that a lot of beginners are in this space, but it, it's, it's, it's crazy. And the reason that I try to educate people, I try to share my perspectives and how I see things is because I believe that it's very important. It could be helpful to the success of the token, not the failure. I'm not here plotting on anyone's failure. I don't want people to lose money. I don't want people to fail in this project. I just think a lot of the ideas that I have and a lot of ideas that the community could have if they weren't so busy with their heads up VV's ass, I believe that that could be what takes VV over the top and makes it successful once again, because that's what it used to be. Back when I was helping build this community, you know, back when it was actually lit, by the way, but back when I was a huge force pushing this project, that's what we all did. We were all talking about ways that it could improve, things it could do better and stuff like that. Oh, but because it was a bunch of money going around, when somebody spoke negative, nobody nobody really better the eye. They're like, yeah, yeah, we agree with that. They do need to change that. But now it's like, oh no, he's exposing it. Oh, he hates us. Why is he always speaking on the project? Shut up, bro. Shut up, like stop being scared because you're bagged down. Like I, don't, like I don't respect people who hold a bag and then you scared to be holding that bag. Like what are you doing? let go of the bag if you ain't got the balls to hold it you saw me sell mine hey no sweat here like you saw what i sold mine like, if you don't got the stomach to stomach it and still keep an unbiased mind don't stomach it get out the kitchen if you can't take the heat like all we're trying to do is suggest things that can be done to actually 
bring the project back where it needs to be. You see that their focus is only on Vivi. We know that their focus is only going to be on what pays them, what pays the licensors, what gets their pockets filled. And while I personally don't think that that's what was sold to us, if y'all are okay with that, cool. So why not the community take over the, the aspects of the project that, that they don't have the time for? Why not? Why, why we don't just give them feedback and give them thoughts on what to do with the token and how to, how to make this profitable again? Um, <clears throat> because it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff that they could do to make this token profit, profitable. They don't have to completely ignore the token, which is what they have been doing. And that's why it's looking the way that it's looking. See, and, and look, look at the opportunities out here right now. Like, and just so people don't think, oh, you just sit around hating on VV. Listen, my other pro I'm, I'm invested in quite a few other projects. And, and right now at this very point in time, my Toshi bag is up 21% today alone. And it was up more yesterday, I believe. And you can go and check Toshi, check it out. Like you can go and look this up for yourself. Let's see. R wax, my R wax bag is up. <laughs> Even my uh, Medicaid is down today. It'd be like that. But Brett is also up today. Like the bags are, the bags are packed. The bags are looking very, very nice right now. And a lot of people who are in this project is so married and glued to this project. You're missing all this money and all these gains everywhere else because you can't get Omi out of your mind. You could have put a fraction of the money you put in, into the OMI token. You could have put a fraction of that into some of these other projects and be up big right now. You could be up massive right now. But a lot of people is too brainwashed. To, oh, trying to be loyal, trying to prove that you're holding the next Apple or you're holding the next freaking Cola, Coca-Cola thinking that you're freaking, um, freak, uh, what's his name? Berkshire Hathaway guy, man. Um, That's crazy. Like one of the people I look up to, I can't remember his name right now. But hey, it'd be like that. I actually remember the, the his friend, Charles, Charlie Munger. Um, but yeah, anyway, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. That's what I was trying to get at. But everyone thinks that they're just holding Coca-Cola and they're Warren Buffett. Chances are you're not. That like that, that that's just the chances. Um, but the way that this company has been behaving and moving when it comes down to the Omi token is not right. It is not okay. And as long as they move this way, you'll have people speaking on it. As long as there's people speaking on it, content creators like me who aren't full of shit and being paid in the background are going to speak on it. So that being said, the shade has to stop. The things, things have to change and they have to start turning things around if you all want your bags to have a better sentiment surrounding it. Because it, it, this, this doesn't stop. Like these type of videos don't stop. Other videos that, that's criticizing it will not stop. Like. They can pay as many people as they want, but the people that's honest is the ones that's always gonna be more impactful. So give people honest things to actually talk about and speak about, and, and they will. Instead, people, you got people in the community going behind the scenes, paying people and all type of stuff, doing everything they can to manipulate the sentiment of the community. It's pathetic. It, it, it would be less work to just do a good job. Help the team do a good job. It's literally less work to just do right by people. Yet y'all going out of y'all way to be dickheads and lie. Like, I don't get it. These influence, this is why y'all suck. This is why people like me literally had to leave in order for y'all to get a little bit of shine. This is why the real had to disappear in order for y'all to be seen. You're this corny and lame and, and, and nobody that you have to, real people cannot be in the community in order for you to shine because you'll be overshadowed every single time. And, and what's crazy is people want to believe the bullshit that you're saying. And you're still struggling. It's crazy. But hey, my whole point is that the Omi token needs help. And if the community will get out of La La Land and start actually giving suggestions and giving advice and start talking to the team and really seeing where they're at, what they need from the community, what would be helpful to get the ball rolling and pushing Omi token this cycle, you may actually be able to see some gains. But if y'all sit there diddling your thumbs, the, the Komi team is going to do what they have been doing this entire time. Fuck all. So if that's what you want, cool. You can sit here, leave a bunch of hate at me. Oh, Cavell this, Cavell that. Or you can get off your ass and actually do something and start pushing what you want to happen. Ma make it happen. Like, like Make it happen. Or you can actually just mitigate your risk like some most of us do and just go invest in other things. Because trust me. It's been a lot of gains this year. It's been a lot of gains this year. I know y'all probably wouldn't know what a green chart looked like in this community, but 
it's been a lot of games this year. <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, I'm going to still be toxic, man. It'd be like that. But, hey, I really want to see everybody win. But everybody, like, a lot of people just keep attacking and stuff like that. Listen, I'm going to talk my shit. I'm going to... Until you wake up and you start doing what's best for you and your family, because hey, I'm the only one. I'm one of the only people on your side. Like that. That's what it is. People want to attack me for being on your side. Cool. I'ma talk my shit while I belt you until you do right. Do right by yourself. Do right by your family, and, and start doing what it takes for this project to be successful and to make sure you have you know you have a, a proper bag of of other other things and you're very nicely diversified. But anyway, that being said. Let me know what y'all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.